If you're new to astrophotography, you might have heard of bias, darks, or flat frames. These are called calibration frames, and they're used to reduce noise, or in the case of flat fields, they're used to compensate for optical imperfections in your setup. It could be, for instance, if you're using a, using a lens, that there are more light coming in through the center of the lens than through the edges, so that the edges of the images look darker. That's called vignetting. Maybe there is a speck of dust somewhere on a lens, and that's going to block a bit of light and be visible in the final images as well. So in order to compensate for this, what we do in astrophotography is we take what's called flat frames or flat fields. These are pictures where you have a completely even source of light. So there's an even amount of light hitting the front of whatever telescope or lens you use on all, uh, on all places. And you take a picture and you then see how much light then actually hits the sensor. Now, when it comes to actually taking the pictures themselves, there is a number of different techniques you can use. A very popular one, especially if you're using smaller aperture setups like a camera with a photo telephoto lens, as I have here, is to simply just point this straight up like so, then get a tablet with a pure white image and simply just put that on top there. And then you can take your pictures like this, basically using the tablet here as your even light source. You can also get purpose-built light sources like the one I have here. This one is from um, Farpoint. And you essentially just turn that on and then you have a even light source. You could adjust it here in the back and you would similarly just put that on top of your uh, setup like so. And then you can use that as your flat um, source of light you can then use to take pictures with. Another way you can do it is by taking what's called either dome or wall flats. If you ever visit like a, a big telescope, you will sometimes see a white square painted on the inside of the telescope uh, or the, the observatory dome. And they do that because they can use that for flats. So they just shine a light on it and then take, point the telescope at it and take a picture of it and then use that as, a, as, a, as your flat field. You can kind of do the same thing by just finding a white wall. However, I won't really recommend that method as it is more difficult than you would think to get a evenly lit wall of light. Um, often you will have windows and then the, the, the end of the wall closer to the window will have more light. If you don't have specific, like really good light control of your room, finding a evenly lit surface is surprisingly difficult. You can use it in a pinch, but I would be a little careful with the, with that method. Now, if you're dealing with larger aperture setups, like the one I have here, Obviously, using the tablet method is not really feasible as you would need a small TV in order to fit in front of this thing. But there is another method, and it's probably the most used method that's called sky flats, where you use the sky to take the pictures. The way you do this is you want to take your pictures doing what's called civil twilight or civil darkness. This is just before sunrise or just after sunset. Now, again, I highly recommend that you take a look at my book and you look for the darkness plots that's also in the book. Here you can see how many minutes after sunset in your specific area there is in the different time of year, how, much, how many minutes after you have to wait until you are in civil twilight, nautical twilight, um, astronomical darkness or night. Um, again, this is all available in the book. Check it out, deepspacebooks.com. But if you want to take your sky flats, the way you do it is you go and you go doing your civil twilight and then you point your telescope away from the sun and you find a spot in the sky with no clouds or anything at all. And then you can take pictures of that area as it's going to be a nice, flat, even amount of light that you're going to receive into your telescope. The reason why these times of days is often preferred is because you don't have, the sun is not up, so you don't have all kinds of like potential reflections from things that could, could be annoying, it could come in at an angle and destroy the, the, the pictures for you. Um, and also you're likely going to be setting up your equipment at that time anyway, because ideally you want to arrive doing civil twilight or just before civil twilight starts and set up your equipment there while it's still light out. And then you might as well just take your flats while you are there and while you set up your equipment and while you wait for proper darkness to come in. First, I just want to say that it is super important that you use the exact same setup for your flats as you use for your light frames, the same lens, and that you use the same um, like settings so that your focal length, your, how much you're zoomed, if you're using a zoom lens, how much that is set to needs to be the same. 
uh, your f-stop the iris how much that's open that needs to be the same uh, if you're using any like, filters or additional lenses like a barlow lens or field flattener or something like that those need to be in place as well when you take your flats ideally keep as many settings as the same but you will likely have to drop the um, exposure time down significantly and that's fine but try to keep all other settings exactly the same when you take these pictures now, I hope this helped clarify some things for you. If you have further questions, I highly recommend you come by the community Discord server. You can find a link for it in the description. And there, there will be plenty of knowledgeable people who can give you a lot more um, help if you have further questions. I'm also on the server and I'll be happy to answer questions as well. So come by. It's a nice community. Loads of knowledgeable people and that can help you anywhere. You can share your pictures and get help to improve your astrophotography game. Just up this road is probably one of my favorite observation spots for astrophotography. Where refractors use, use lenses, reflectors uses mirrors. These type of telescopes will often be constructed of a 